Hey guys, I'm Stephanie Rose, and this week I'm really excited about the videos I'm doing. I actually just got back from the library because I needed to borrow every single book I'm using in my videos this week. I own one of these books. Some of the books for Friday's video I have on audiobook. So I needed physical copies, but today I am doing- I- <laughs> Saxon, you are so underfoot. He's right where my foot needs to be. Dog! But today, I get to gush all about one of my favorite author's books, Frederick Bachman. Frederick Bachman is an author from Sweden. He is the number one New York Times best-selling author. His books have been published in more than 40 countries. These books are all translations. They're really, really good. I read this first one, A Man Called O, as a recommendation of somebody that I follow, an acquaintance of mine from college. We took some classes together. This book is about a very curmudgeonly old man. He's very grumpy. When I read this book, I fell absolutely in love with this author and I decided I was going to read every single one of his books that came out that I could get my hands on. So thus started the journey. Next came Brit Mary Was Here, which is about an older woman who is rediscovering herself. She goes through a big life change. She's a very, very particular woman. Ove was curmudgeonly, she's very particular. And I love that book as well. This next one, this says, My Grandmother Sends Her Regards and Apologies. The title that I read it under is My Grandmother Wanted Me to Tell You She's Sorry. Do not be too confused. They are the same book, different titles. Remember, this is a translation, but they are exactly the same. This one actually follows a very little girl. She's seven. She She's going around and delivering letters on what her grandmother calls a treasure hunt. There's kids coming home from school right now. I did not enjoy it as much as the other two. It just wasn't the best that I read of his, but it's a good book anyway. And then this last one is Bear Town, and it is about a hockey town out in the Netherlands, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. He manages to make a character out of almost the entire town, and it's a really good book. Of all the books that I've mentioned though, this is the one to be careful of. There is a trigger warning I have for this book, and if you do not want spoilers and don't care about the trigger warnings, Mute me now. I'll wait. Okay, this is the spoiler section, so I am gonna get spoilery. The very central conflict of this book is that a girl gets raped, and it does go into detail about the incident, and then it rehashes it several times throughout the end of the book because it puts the entire town in conflict. If that's something that you can't read, then I would avoid this book. But it is very well written, and I thought that it was tasteful. All right, guys, spoilers are over. <laughs> but this was this was a very good book. It's just that the central conflict is very hard to read. These are all of the books that he has out that I know of. He does have two novellas. I did not borrow the one because I did not want to bleed my library completely dry of every single book by him. But I did borrow this one. This one, The Deal of the Lifetime, I have not read it yet. So I'm going to read this. The other one is called The Way Home Keeps Getting Long and longer or something like that. It is about Alzheimer's. I do not often have favorite authors. I've never gone out searching for books solely based on the author's skill. This is the first time that I have done that. The reason why is the way he approaches his characters. You may have noticed a theme, maybe not. He has somewhat unlikely characters, potentially unlikable characters. Ove is curmudgeonly and grumpy. He's old. He's kind of mean. And Britt Marie, she's very particular. She's rude. She's snippy. But you really, really come to love those characters, and it reminds you that you do not know other people's story, and other people don't know your story, and so just treat people with general respect and treat them the way that you would like to be treated with understanding. Obviously, everybody messes up every once in a while. I'm not always understanding, but I try to make sure that I am to the best of my ability. And that is why I love these books. If I were to describe his books in one word, I would choose heartwarming. Each of these books have made me laugh and cry sometimes in the same chapter, and they are very cozy warm, endearing reads, and I highly recommend them.
If you liked this and want to see more, hit the subscribe button below. I also will have my links to my Instagram and Twitter. I post reading pictures on there. Eventually on my Twitter, I will live tweet reading marathons. My next video, which I am also looking forward to, will also be a book recommendation. So keep your eyes open for that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, it is warm today. It is really warm today, and I'm wearing a sweater. It's like almost 70 degrees outside. It's ridiculous. I'm so excited for it to be cold. Soon. Soon.